Okay, so today we're going to be diving into something that's a bit of a game changer if you're using a Mac Mini. This is the Satoshi stand on hub for the Mac Mini and also for the Mac Studio. Now, we're going to talk more about this one in a couple of seconds because this is actually an upgraded version of the Satoshi stand on hub. But I want to draw the, this conversation first over to the Mac Mini. Now, if you know the Mac Mini, you know that this is a little bit of a beast. You know, it's packed with a lot of power. It's got a lot of ports in the back. It's just that, you know, the front, it's kind of empty, you know, no ports, no slots, just a lonely little LED to let you know that it's alive. Now, Apple really leaned into the mini part of minimalism with this one, which is nice, but it's unpractical. And this is where the Mac Studio steps up. It's got the same footprint as the Mac Mini. It's just taller. And this is key. It adds two USB-C ports and an SD card reader right up front. Now, you're also getting the same ports on the back as the M2 Pro Mac Mini, though the base M2 Mac Mini loses out on a couple of Thunderbolt 4 ports. Now, if you're feeling like your Mac Mini's front is just a little too bare, the Satoshi Stand and Hub for the Mac Mini is here to save the day. It adds four USB ports. It's actually three USB a regular USB and one USB-C port. And it's got a micro SD and an SD card reader. And it's even got a 3.5 audio jack. Now, first I wanna talk about the card readers. They're, they're not very fast, okay? So it's a pretty big deal if you need quick storage for portable storage. It's just that it's only UHS-1, which tops out at 104 megabits per second. But unless you're a speed demon, that's actually more than enough. Now, in my case, I actually do happen to be a bit of a speed demon. Uh, so these are just not enough for my needs. Luckily though, um, and, and this is uh, kind of coincidental, but I actually do use a very fast Satoshi card reader. Honestly, the, the idea that I can just plug this in the front instead of the back is a real game changer for me. You know, um, it's it just so much quicker to use. But obviously, you know, I do wish that the card readers were faster. So Satoshi, if you're listening, perhaps you can fix it in the next version of the hub. Also, here's a pro tip. You can actually use these uh, card readers as extra storage. You can, you, know, you can get something like a 512 gigabyte micro SD card for around 60 bucks to get even more storage. Now that's a pretty sweet deal. Satoshi also upped their game with this new version supporting both, both NVMe and SATA M2 SSDs. So you can add up to four terabytes of extra storage. And I did just that. I put in a crucial P3 plus four terabytes. And I'm gonna talk more about that in a minute. But first I wanna talk about the USB ports. It can now hit 10 gigabits per second up from five gigabits on the old model. Okay, so sure, it's not Thunderbolt four speeds, but for most people that's pretty fast, okay? Um, and sure, the Satoshi's main competition, the OVC mini stack STX does offer 40 gigabits per second, but it also costs over twice as much. Also, the mini stack has no ports in the front. So to me, it's kind of pointless. So unless you're moving massive files all day, 10 gigabits per second should get the job done. Now, Satoshi says that the USB ports are for data only and not charging. But actually I was able to charge my iPhone pretty quickly, so take that with a grain of salt. One of the biggest gripes with the Mac mini is the non-user upgradable internal storage. If you want more than the base storage, Apple makes you pay a lot upfront. Now I could afford it, but there are just some things that I won't do. And paying a thousand dollars just to upgrade to four terabytes, that's just bonkers to me. Now, with the Satoshi stand and hub, you can actually slide in your own SSD for a fraction of the cost. Um, so $50 for one terabyte of SSD instead of Apple's 200 upgrade fee. Now that's pretty darn good. Okay, so the hub sits nicely under your Mac mini giving it the look of a slimmed down Mac Studio. Actually, I'm gonna show it how it looks. Just plug it in, in the back. 
So as you can see, the hub sits nicely under your Mac Mini, giving it a look of a slimmed down Mac Studio, but with even more useful ports right where you need them. It connects via USB-C and while the ports are USB rather than Thunderbolt, 10 gigabits per second is still pretty quick for most tasks. Now, the original version did not support NVMe SSDs, but this new one does. So you can, you know, pick up basically whichever SSD standard suits your needs. Now, installation is a breeze and Satoshi includes the tools you need to get it done. And I ran some tests with uh, the four terabyte Crucial P3 Plus NVMe SSD, and it hit over one gigabits per second write and nearly 900 megabits per second read speeds, which is pretty solid for this setup. Like you can see this hub even fits under the Mac Studio, making it an affordable way to add more storage to Apple's higher end desktop. Now, if you don't need the extra storage, Satoshi also offers a version without the SSD enclosure for a bit less. But honestly, spending the extra for the SSD enclosure seems like a no-brainer. You never know when you're going to need that extra space. Now, the Satoshi stand and hub for Mac Mini with NVMe SSD enclosure comes in silver, matching the latest Mac Mini models. If you're rocking on an older space gray Mac Mini, there is also uh, a non-SSD model in that color, but the SSD version is silver only, and it's not compatible with older minis. Now, a quick word on Wi-Fi. Before I got this thing, I read a few reviews from users that have been placing their Mac Mini or Mac Studio on top of the Satoshi stand, and apparently the Wi-Fi speed dropped. Now, I did a couple of tests, and I have not noticed any issues whatsoever. Now, according to Satoshi, uh, and then mentioned that while the hub shouldn't affect Wi-Fi, interference might happen. They do recommend switching your Mac to a 2.4 gigahertz network instead of a 5 gigahertz for better performance, if you notice any issues. Okay, so bottom line, the Satoshi stand and hub for Mac mini with NVMe SSD enclosure is a pretty awesome way to fix two of Mac mini's biggest weaknesses lack of front-facing ports, and lockdown storage. Adding a terabyte or two of storage this way saves you a ton compared to buying it from Apple. And now it's definitely worth checking out if you're looking to upgrade your Mac Mini setup. And as you can see, that's what I did. And this uh, Satoshi Hub is going to stay here for quite a while. Okay, that's all I had. Thanks for watching. See you around.